Hello everyone and welcome. In this short, we are looking for ground fish. You know, the ones that live in the kelp beds along the seafloor in fairly shallow water, 60 to 80 feet, sometimes in that 30 and 40. Well, in this short, we're going to be looking at some of the flat fish, flounders as you would call them. Some people would think that they were small halibut but the ribbon kelp that surrounds them and the ledge that we're filming on today is amazing. It starts about 40 feet and it drops over 300 foot. But we're looking right now at a small group of ground fish, possibly perch, small in size. We want to know what the life expectancy of some of these fish are in Puget Sound with the way that the water has become polluted in some areas. And what kind of fish are in the shallows now of this 40 to 60, 80 foot water? 20 feet, the divers can get into that. That 30 feet, fine. But let's find out what's going on in a little bit deeper water in our Puget Sound. If you've just joined us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you. I'm Doc. I'm the host of this, and I'm nicknamed the Ghost Net Guy. <laughs> I have been working with the state tribal fishers and other volunteers, removing derelict gear out of the waters of Puget Sound. Last big project we did was on the Chehalis River. And if you look at our TM Key Film channel, go back and look what we've done with some of the tribes from the Puyallup. Wow, what a relief that was. We had some good help there on that. King 5 came in and did a great job filming and letting the public know about derelict gear and what's happening in the waters of Puget Sound. This particular day that we're out, we want to study the ground fish. And I just saw a sea slug, I believe, and if I went back and looked at it there, you might see what I mean. It's all white and has a big eye on it. <laughs> kind of looks like an outer space critter of some sort. But look at these guys. They love the camera. Now we're using a low light, full color, but no lights on the camera at all. And we don't want to spook the fish but boy are they curious they just keep coming in and bobbing against the lens and it's amazing they're just so many different species and most of the things that are going on on the seafloor we don't even see there's a bright orange starfish down in the distance there but the flounders that are flat fish as you want to call them or that are swimming around and this one has kind of a white thing on his nose. I don't know if he was hooked from a sportsman and got away or something happened to him there. Oh, there's our old friend, the ratfish. Oh, those are beautiful. We had an Irish lord follow him there. I'm not a marine biologist by any means. Oh, look at that. Did you see that fish? He had another fish in his mouth. <laughs> oh, the stuff that goes on in the waters here. Oh, there's another ratfish. Like I was saying, I'm not a marine biologist. I'm a guy that goes out and tries to clean up the waters of our Northwest, remove the derelict gear. They've nicknamed me the ghost net guy. And I'm having a lot of fun. Now, that was just a little school of very, very small bottom fish. Did you see how kind of it was together? There was, those were really small fish. And if you look in the way in the background, I believe that possibly could be a sturgeon along that rock I'm not sure but I've been looking at it a number of different ways and it is moving and I think it could be either a large six gill or possibly a sturgeon but look at the cliff as it drops down the angle another shot of it there they're chewing on some type of bait or herring or some type of fish there but look at the ledge the cliff that we're on the waters over here are extremely clean one of the cleanest areas I've found in Puget Sound 
I'm not sure what those white spots on the ribbon kelper are. If that's a fungus or invasive species of some type, I'm not quite sure. I've seen it other areas in our sound, but I'd like to know. And if you're a viewer that can help me out on a few of these things, please give us a comment, email us up, and let us know. And we'll be sure to make sure we help the others out there watching this <laughs> understand more about the waters of Puget Sound.